Welcome to this uh, Sequoia webinar on the Microsoft Edge Tuesday from September 2011. My name is Stefan Frey, Research and Analyst Director at Sequoia. Yesterday we had a rather light uh, Microsoft Edge Day. Microsoft released five builders from MS11-0702-074 in total for 15 vulnerabilities uh, and Sequoia released six advisories covering those vulnerabilities. Based by Microsoft, uh, all five builders were rated as important and the criticality of our six security advisors we rated three as highly critical and three as low criticality, mostly based on little different differences in the, how we rate the cross subscription vulnerabilities. Affected products by this patch day, all of Microsoft Office and Microsoft Excel, Microsoft SharePoint Server and then all supported Microsoft operating systems, desktop operating systems, as well as the server operating systems. So before we start, we have to reload insecure library loading type of vulnerabilities. Actually, we have two builders that belong to this class of vulnerabilities. Insecure library loading is an issue known and publicized extensively since August 2010. It affects many Microsoft and many third-party programs. Secunia uh, maintains a list of all affected programs. This list is still growing. As of yesterday's patch day, two more vulnerabilities in there. Today, there are 281 products affected by these kind of vulnerabilities. Products from in total 109 different vendors. So I mention it here because I said two builders belong to this kind and basically they have the same mitigation factors. One is disabled SMB on the parameter firewall. This makes it harder for a malicious party as it has to be within the parameter in order to exploit the vulnerability. Then this will be the loading of libraries from VECDEV and uh, remote network shares. Uh, there's a fixed workaround available from Microsoft that can help on doing this. So insecure library loading is a guess that we see very, very often. Now we will discuss two uh, build tests that stand out a little bit. Quick facts on MS11-071. This is an insecure library loading vulnerability. It is caused due to various components that load certain shell extensions in an insecure manner. Interestingly, this can be exploited to load arbitrary libraries by tricking a user into opening a text file, a rich text format file, or a Word document file located on a remote web dev component or SMB share in a specifically named folder as the sample shows in here. So this can be very easily exploited as everybody trusts text files to be harmless, but in that context it could allow a uh, remote attack or remote code execution privileges. So mitigation, we discussed it before, in secure library loading, mitigation applies. However, it is best to deploy the patch as soon as possible. All Microsoft operating systems are affected by this vulnerability. We rate it as a highly critical vulnerability, given it provides a remote code execution to the attacker and given the prevalence of the affected software, in this case all Microsoft operating systems. Provide system access and it's accessible from remote. The second outstanding builder is multiple vulnerabilities in Microsoft Excel. So multiple vulnerabilities have been reported, they can be exploited, and they can lead to complete compromise of the user systems. There are several vulnerabilities reported in here. In total, it's uh, five CVs that were uh, released. It's a uh, use of the free error, array indexing error, error when passing unspecified data, a sightness error, and an unspecified error that get patched with this builder. They allow uh, remote code execution. There's a limited mitigation possible. The Office file validation feature can help to mitigate some of these vulnerabilities. The details are published in the Microsoft Advisors. It depends on what version of Office uh, you're working with, and it depends on uh, whether or not the Office file validation feature is activated. In some versions, it's activated by default, and some you have to activate. However, the 
best solution would be to deploy the page as soon as possible. Given the prevalence of Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Office in the company or in the field. This is a highly critical vulnerability. It provides system access to the attacker. It's exploitable from remote. From a prioritization to uh, this patch day, we would first prioritize MS-071 and secure library loading vulnerability that affects all Windows operating systems. Second, but almost the same priority, insecure library loading vulnerability that affects all Microsoft Office. And on the third place, this uh, Excel vulnerability we just discussed. So, as always, at the end of this webinar, a short overview of the boot test. We see the five Microsoft boot tests together with the security advisors, the number of CVs affected, the publication date, how big. Uh, Great criticality of the vulnerabilities we see for all of them. Consistent the exploit code is like according to Microsoft. Uh, four of the five are exploitable from remote and what it affects. So, thank you very much for your attention and wish you a nice day.